Hey everybody, Dr. Eric Herbert, Guru Chiropractor. Peace and love, back again for another video with my big patient, Big Dan. What's going on, sir? Good to see you again. Dan's been coming for about a year, year and a half. I, I think we just looked at your chart. Tell him a little bit about your, your history and a little bit about seeing me and stuff, and then we'll roll right into an adjustment. Yeah, so I played football at Vanderbilt University four years, um, graduated this past year. Center, um, right? You did center? You center, were center and for? guard. Center and guard, so nice. offensive line. Yeah. Um, Obviously, a lot of back injuries. Football. Uh, finished my senior year with one. Uh, it was pretty, pretty serious. Um, nothing really helped. Um, thankfully, met Dr. Herman. Um, How'd you find out about me again? Did your father find? Yeah, my father find me on found YouTube him. or something. My father found him. Thankfully, okay. And uh, and you uh, came over to Bridge from Staten Island, right? Yeah, I'm from Staten Island, New York originally. Okay. Um, that first adjustment was life changing. So been coming every ring dinger every single time. Yeah. And then you came back with a, you know, that got your back stabilized. Yeah. And then you came back for, with a few minor injuries, a yeah. little relapses here and there. And then now you graduated. So no more football. Now you're in the real, real world. Yeah. Corporate and America. Corporate yeah. America. And you moved to, where are you, Nashville? Yeah. So whenever you, not whenever, but when you come home and you need one, you come over to see me. So this is what's going on today, right? Yeah. yeah. And you got a little something going on. Not too bad right this minute, right? Yeah. But what you told me was, what, about three weeks ago, you were, were deadlifting or squat? It was squat. You were squatting and you hurt your back a little bit and you had a little, bi both sides, bilateral sciatica means it's going down both sides yeah. for a short amount of time. Yes. And then you, you rested, took a couple of what, Advil or whatever, and it, the symptoms went away. Yeah. Good. But we're going to check him anyway because he's due. It's been a while since he's had a, an adjustment and you still lift pretty heavy, right? Yes. Um, and whatever needs it, we're going to do a full body adjustment and a ring dinger and get you back tuned up and, and, and in good shape again. You awesome. ready to go? Yeah, absolutely. Face down, big guy, relax. I'm glad I ate my Wheaties today. <laughs> All right, so first thing we're going to do is look at your posture. All right, so you, you definitely have a, a twist, a torque. Your whole body, really, the, the shoulders and the, the hips and pelvis are torqued to the left. Not too bad in the shoulders, but slight. But a pretty good torque going this way. Yeah. Do you feel that when you're laying? Like you feel that like abnormal pull? Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah. My feet, my yeah. Legs. So you're like all twisted up in the lower back. The hips are level because your heels are even, but you got that torque. So now I'm gonna bend up your knees. Remember we do we do this all the time. Yeah. Let me know if it affects anything here. Here's normal when it's if it stretches, but if it does anything here, extra pull or any pain activated when I bend, let me know. Yeah. That's a, that's a very good indication to tell if you have compression in your lower back. What's going on as I stretch up? There's some. Some pulling in your lower back? Yeah. yeah. Well, not much. Okay, but some. Okay. So that's a positive for the folks out there watching too. That's a positive orthopedic test that means there's too much t abnormal tightness or compression where he feels the pulling. Normal, if the lower back was completely good and healthy, shouldn't feel anything happening here when the legs get bent only stretching the, the front of the thighs, which are called the quadriceps. So that's a good indication that you could, guys at home, could test yourself. You could lay on your stomach and bend up your knees. And if you feel anything going on in your lower back, that's a high probability you got back problems. You got too much tension built up in there. As I'm feeling, the musculature, you know, on the side here, they call the paraspinal muscles, is a bit fired up. If I'm gonna say, which side's tighter? It feels like the right side is a little bit more jammed up than the left. But let's test it. So now I'm gonna push down a little bit on your tailbone. Start with your, your left leg. Don't bend it at the knee. Keep it all the way stiff. Lift it up off the table. Okay, go down, go down. Any abnormal pain or pulling? No, that's just some tightness. Tightness, all right, try the right side. Yeah, and down. All right, so I saw something, but what, I'm more interested how to feel to you. Which side was tighter and harder to lift? Yeah, it didn't. It clearly didn't go up as high, so it's a little more jammed. Both sides are jammed, but the right side's more. So we're just going to put a little more extra emphasis here, and then retest it afterwards, like usual. Anything happening here when I push, like soreness? No, nothing. Tender? No. Okay, feels a little tight, but no torn. If it's sore, that means there's inflammation. You could have inflammation and jamming, and you could have jamming without inflammation. Anything sore as I'm poking in this area? The tighter on the right, yeah. All right, let's see. And yes, I can 
little me can do big dudes if they don't resist too much, if they're not too tight. A big guy like him, if he's too tight and he can't let go and can't relax even a little bit, it might be a little hard. The ring dinger I could probably still do, but the other adjusting might be a little difficult, but he's pretty relaxed. He's one of the most chill big guys I ever met in my life, so I could release. No problem. Neck feels all right. Not too bad. You came out of your football career pretty good, man. Pretty, you know, injury-free. So God bless. Thank God for that. All right. So first thing we're going to do is just I'm going to just stretch out a little bit here. Then we'll go right in for the ring dinger. You ready to go? Yep. All right. Here we go. A little hands-on stretch and massage. Then we'll do the ring dingy. Is your father still working or did he retire yet? He's still grinding. <laughs> he wait, did he come once? He came once for an adjustment since the last time you were here, was it? Or is it my memory playing is my mind playing games with me again? I don't know. Can't keep track. <sighs> So fly fishing, huh? That's your, your newest endeavor for fishing? Yeah, just for now. Try something new. I like a new challenge. Okay, now we're going to do it a little bit with the massager, the thumper. How long are you going to be uh up up around these parts before you got to go back ah right, cool all right who getting married oh i didn't even know like i was gonna ask you <laughs> like what you're up here for because it's not really any holidays right now just, just for, for the wedding first cousin yeah. nice Were you all American at all with in in football? Uh, for uh, high school. For high school. Not much. Mm -mm -mm. Tuesday, I had two three hundred pounds. Eh, not two uh, two guys back to back that were at least two fifty, two sixty. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, right, cool. Nice little warm up. Come on up on your feet, big guy, when you're ready. We're going in the back room. I'm going to do some ring dinger. Go ahead through, make a left. So go ahead and lay down. You remember, head here, face up. We'll get you lined up, set up, pinned up, and ready to go. Keep your hands up top. Good. Let me see. Slide your body down like two, three inches. You're way high. Yeah, that's good right there. All right. Lifting up the table. All right. So this is going to be tight in case you forgot. I'll be a little snug. Let's see. How's that? Too good? Too tight or good? All right. Good. Let me get your hands back to me. I just want to make sure there's no slack. Good. All right. Relax. <clears throat> your body weight helps too. Because the more drag I have when I pull, the better the release is. The more that the pins and the and your body weight stops your body from moving. <laughs> I feel bad for you, you big guys on plane airplane rides unless you have a first class seat. Because I don't like it. I'm all squished up and I'm a teeny guy. Lift up your neck. Thankfully there was only yeah. half of a flight. Oh, so you had a couple seats uh, yeah. open next to you. All right, so just a reminder, keep your teeth touching together. Don't bite hard, though. Just keep your mouth closed and stay as relaxed as you can, and that's it. I'll do everything else. You ready? Mm -hmm. Chin down slightly. All right, don't force it. Just keep it right there. Relax. Give me five seconds. Stay loose. <sighs> okay, just get a good grip first. I always say that on every video. Good. 
chin down a little bit, relax, and boom. Good one? Nice. Awesome. I heard that little sigh. That, that's a cue. You're letting go of stress. All right. You, you were a little bit overdue, but... Where where'd you feel it the most? Lower. Lower. Good, because that's where you've been complaining. All right, I'm lowering the table, but don't get up too quick. I want to check your neck real quick. Let's see how this neck's doing. Stay relaxed. Relax. Good. Stay loose. Loose shoulder. Loose. Nice. That was finesse. <laughs> Boop. All right, come on up when you're ready, big man. You might be a little taller now. Yeah, hopefully. Good. Looser? Yeah. Good man. Great. All right, cool. Appreciate Face it. down, though. We got to do a little more on that table. Yeah. Dude, you look good. You look you look a little ripped, like, you, you know. You, before, you were just a big mountain of muscle. Now you're getting some definition coming through because so, you don't have to keep that weight anymore for football, right? Yeah. How's your strength? Do you lose any bit, any strength oh. from losing some weight? I'm not going to lie. I have lost some. Yeah, that's understandable, but not, I mean, a huge amount or no? Cool. All right. I'm going to bend your knees up again. Let me know if you feel anything. Ben, by the way, that torque is almost gone in your, in your pelvis. How's that feel? Good. So that is a major indication that we released a lot of uh, tension and jamming. And you could see it. I don't know, Zach, if you picked it up the first time, but that rotation is pretty much gone. So that's a good sign too. P posture improved, range of motion improved, less tightness. S slide your body down about two inches towards your feet. That's good right there. Now we're gonna do some more drops through your lower back and pelvis. Stay loose. Good. Tighten this up for big guy mode. Good. Good. Rock. Nice. See how I snuck that one in? <laughs> the best chiropractors are the sneakiest ones. Good. All right. Let's check the SI joint. Do the left again. Lift as high as you can. No bend. Good. And down. How'd that feel compared? Pretty, pretty smooth. All right, this was the jammy one. So pit, lift that. Let's see. Lift it up. Okay, go down. Visually look better. How'd it feel? Yeah. Easier? Yeah, way better. Amen. And when I push two, there's more wiggle. Yeah. So we got three confirmations. This is doing a lot better. This is doing a lot better. So we're happy here. Now we're going to work up a little bit this way. Slide down a little more. Good. Stay relaxed. Do, do, do. Woo. Oh, nice clunker. I could get, I like big guys like you because I could I could get my aggressions out. I could slam the jam and you don't even care. You don't flinch. <laughs> Relax. Look straight up to the sky. Just flop it down. Floppy. Loose. Loose. Good. Back in the middle. Coming around. Coming around. Look up again, tilt, good. Finesse that one back in too. Neck feels good, bro. With all your football and all those collisions and stuff. Did you ever get any concussions confirmed? Four. Four, huh? So you gotta keep track of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Very good, feels a lot looser. Roll over on your back when you're ready, face up. Hands back to me. Loose. Dude. I can't barely hold your wrists. <laughs> Boom. And relax. Ba ba ba. Popping toes. Woo. Good. Bam. All right, let's do a little bit of a pull. Relax, floppy and loose. Nice. 
Floppy, relaxed. Loose. Good. Good. All right, sit up when you're ready. Face that way. There you go. I forgot. Was I was? Did I usually get your shoulders when you bend, or are you too big for that? Can yeah, I, I can I reach? You've gotten them one. Yeah. All right. Let's try. Bend this one in front. Coming around. Drop it down a little bit. Good. Barely, but I got it. Drop it down a little bit. Good. A little bit in the elbow. Drop and flop. Good. Flop your wrist. Good. Woo! Pull. Bang. I'm winded. <laughs> I'm puffing. Oof. Relax. Loose. Bam. Boom. Relax. Boom. Not bad. Lined. Appreciate it. I, I appreciate you coming by. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Good job, though. I appreciate it. It's always good seeing you. Yeah. We didn't talk as much as we usually do about fishing because we had the video and you were a little late. But I'm glad you're doing good. Yeah. And you know I'm always here for you when you come back to visit fam. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I wish you well in all your endeavors. Stay injury free, stay yeah. healthy, and come back when you need me. Yeah. Peace and love. Big big man Dan doing better. Got his tune up uh, visit for maybe next two three months four months. I don't know. Yeah. You maybe you'll come back on Thanksgiving or Christmas. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you like this, if it, if you watch this and you related, like I think that might help me because it's very relatable. The people that have compression that have jammed spine and and back problems and watch this being done. A lot of people are like, I think that's what it uh, I need. So if that's you out there and you feel like this might be able to help you and nothing else has helped you, come on through. I'll do my very best for you. If you're in the tri-state area, I'm in central New Jersey, but I have people coming from all around New York, Pennsylvania, um, Delaware, Boston, a few people, but I'm not one of them big shots that has people flying in yet. But if you want to fly in, I'll take good care of you too. Point is, if you get here, I'll do my very best. God bless to everybody out there. Peace and love. Talk to you next time. Bye.